Hi, I'm Steve Jasquack, the studio manager at the Vance Wall Art Education Center at the in the Montclair Art Museum. And I'm here to show you today how to throw a bowl. So in the last video we went over centering. So I'm gonna, this will be brief, you can watch my hand center it. And I'm just compressing the clay down, then my elbow's anchored. Working on this corner right here, trying to get it centered. I'm gonna make you a bowl, I'm going in. Now the difference between the lamp, the making the cup and the bowl is I don't compress the bottom on the inside of this once I get it open. And I don't pull it open, I only open it a little bit. Let's see what I'm talking about, 20 seconds. Press my rim. So this is the start of the bowl. The other one started out in a shape like this. This is the profile. This is starting out in a shape like that. Going up higher than what I want to be. So I'm going to open this up in a second. I have to open up the bowl and to get my shape. I don't try and throw the curve in there, I put it in there. I, I throw the shape for the bowl as a V. I use the curvature of the rib to make my inner shape. I'm not as concerned with the outer shape because the outer shape will get trimmed to fit, to be nice and up. So your inner shape is more important. I find for myself that I want my rim to be at least, to be no more than 50% more than the the uh, width of the base when I'm throwing it for stability. I don't want a rim way out here with a narrow base like that where the, where the bowl will collapse or get crooked. You can trim this off if you want it last later, but that also affects its stability when objects and things are in it. So that's something to take into consideration how much function you plan to get out of the bowl. So now I'm just smoothing it out. Trying to make it nice and aesthetically. All right, there's a bowl for you.